done this for two weeks and we did it the right way every day. Every day. You're on a set, you rehearse, they bring you what's called the cold gun. The gun is either completely empty, the chambers, or there is a cosmetic piece. So for example, if you're the camera, and this is going to sound silly and specific, but if I'm pointing the gun close to the camera, you want to see into the cylinder that there's material in there, mm -hmm. cosmetic material. So those rounds are cosmetic rounds. Right. They put them in and you rehearse, or even in a shot when you don't fire. Mm -hmm. I pulled it up, and you see there's some material inside the cylinder. They'd hand me a cold gun, no charges. They always hand you a cold gun with nothing in it to rehearse. Every time we've done this, I'm here to tell you, to testify that every time we've done this, she's done it right. She cleaned the barrel, made sure nothing was lodged in there. We went hot when they were ready. You always announce, going hot. The crew gets ready. And then all of a sudden, you're the camera, and I shoot away from you. I sit there, I'm like, bang, 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 and flashes are coming out, and we shoot the rounds. She cleans the barrel every time, and she checks th that the rounds are all cosmetic rounds, for the, or nothing in the chamber for the rehearsal. She hands me the gun. I'm assuming she's done it the right way. She's done it the last two weeks. I put it in the holster. I pull it out slow. We're rehearsing. We're not filming anything. I pull it out slow, turn, cock the pistol, bang, it goes up, and she hits the ground. And then he starts screaming. And I'm thinking, in a flash round, I could see maybe if there was wadding or there's some stuff like that that's hot, and maybe it hit you and burned you. As they say sometimes that happens. But remember, we're rehearsing, so no one's protected. And you're assuming, as we've done every time, that it's a cold gun for the rehearsal. And I put the, the, the gag in the shot, you're the camera, because I have a coat, and I have a holster, and I pull the coat over, and I kind of cup my hands like I folded my hands. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to slowly sneak the revolver, the, the Colt, out, and turn and shoot these other guys, or try to shoot them. I take the coat over the thing, I hear the camera's there. I believe, my recollection is she was there, turned a bit, like talking to him. So her, I think she was hitting the right armpit. But this is all I know, and that is that I take the gun out in the rehearsal, where he wants it very dramatic and very sudden, kind of sneak up on them. I take the gun out, and as I take, as I guess it clears, as the barrel clears all the turn and cock the gun over here. I turn and cock the gun, the gun goes off. It's supposed to be a cold gun. Nothing. No flash charges, nothing. Now, this is a puzzle to me. And this is making me very emotional now. You know, but in my time, and I'm older now, but when I was younger and I was shooting guns in films, I've never seen a theatrical flash round where the material went through someone's armpit, came out their body, and hit somebody else in the shoulder. Yeah. I'm wondering if your department is prepared to go find out what comes out of his shoulder surgically. Is that a live round? That's what we are actually looking is at. Is that a live? Because it doesn't make any sense otherwise.